it's time to work on the hands. And uh, I've been uh, putting it off for as long as I can. Hands are not fun. And I've got to figure out how I'm going to do it and have the uh, reins going into the hand. Um, because you got to have, well, it's, I've got to figure it out. Forming the uh, palm of the hand, or the uh, back of the hand right here, but the palm is on this side. I've made a, a separate armature so I can stick it back in the arm again. It's going to be very hard for you to see anything I do because my hands are going to be right in the way most of the time. But I'll do the best I can so that you get the best view possible. Again, I'm doing it in monster clay because it... Uh, Holds its shape better than the uh, J Mac. I've got to create this so that the uh, rope part of the rain can go into the hand in bronze. Uh, that's not going to be easy. But I got to figure it out. This is a real small hand. <laughs> this is really hard with the camera right in front of my eyes. and try to put a knuckle on. That's really difficult this size.
I'm gonna have to come back. I can't do it without having my, my hands right in the uh, camera. Well, I've got the hand done. <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna reattach it to the arm right now. Okay, I hope I can get this in there without, well, I can't do that. Now they can cast that hand with the rope in it together. And, uh, and they'll just weld, spot weld it right there where the uh, reins meet. Okay. Whew. This is taking me a heck of a long time to get right today but i i'm happy with how it turned out all right i've got the hand reattached and it looks pretty good uh the uh rope rein uh can be spot welded right there at the bottom where the uh hand is and that will work out just fine Everything will line up. Now it's just a matter of me finishing off the wrist of the fella here. And uh, I'll do that now. This, this whole day has been hard to video because of the uh, smallness of this hand and my ability to sculpt it without having my hand take over the camera view. Now, I think I'm going to make it look like a glove. I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. I think it's not going to be too tough to do. I don't think you'd be a sane cowboy if you wanted to handle a horsehair rope with your bare hands. Because I got a feeling that that would be pretty scratchy. So, I just got to do a glove. Got to put a wrinkle on this uh, glove right there.
I'll have to finish that when I get the uh, sculpture back down to a normal level so I can work on it. And right now it's really high on the sculpting stand so I can work on this boot, which I'll work on tomorrow. This took me longer to do today than I thought it was going to take me. And, well, I actually thought it would take a long time because this is not a easy sculpture to do. There's nothing been easy about this piece. It's been a very hard piece to do. I'll start working on this boot and uh, the uh, stirrup tomorrow and uh i'm like how i like how it's looking i've got to figure out how i'm gonna permanently attach that rope to that hand for now i think i've got an idea how i'm going to do that all right anyway i'll work on that glove tomorrow i have that boot and then i'll uh lower the whole sculpture finish off his leg and this boot and then work on this hand and uh one day at a time i'm happy the way this turned out today all right everybody see you next time good night if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.